And I think for mundane intellectual labor, AI is just going to replace everybody. People say that it will create new jobs, though, so we'll be fine. Yes, and that's been the case for other technologies, but this is a very different kind of technology. If it can do all mundane human intellectual labor, then what new jobs is it going to create? You'd, you'd have to be very skilled to have a job that it couldn't just do. So I don't, th I don't think they're right. I think you can try and generalize from other technologies that come in, like computers or automatic telemachines, but I think this is different. People use this phrase, they say, AI won't take your job, a human using AI will take your job. Yes, I think that's true. But for many jobs, that'll mean you need far fewer people. My niece answers letters of complaint to a health service. It used to take her 25 minutes. She'd read the complaint and she'd think how to reply and she'd write a letter. And Now she just scans it into um, a chatbot and it writes the letter. She just checks the letter. Occasionally she tells it to revise it in some ways. The whole process takes her five minutes. That means she can answer five times as many letters. And that means they need five times fewer of her. So she can do the job that five of her used to do. Now, that will mean they need less people. In other jobs, like in healthcare, they're much more elastic. So if you could make doctors five times as efficient, we could all have five times as much healthcare for the same price. And that would be great. There's, there's almost no limit to how much healthcare people can absorb. Mm. They always want more healthcare. If, if there's no cost to it. There are jobs where you can make a person with an AI assistant much more efficient and you won't lead to less people because you'll just have much more of that being done. But most jobs, I think, are not like that. Am I right in thinking this sort of industrial revolution played a role in replacing muscles? Yes, exactly. And this revolution in AI replaces intelligence, the brain. Yeah. So, so mundane intellectual labor is like having strong muscles. And it's not worth much anymore. So muscles have been replaced. Now we, intelligence is being replaced. Yeah. So what remains? Maybe for a while some kinds of creativity. But the whole idea of superintelligence is nothing remains. Um, these things will get to be better than us at everything. What would you be saying to people about their career prospects in a world of superintelligence? What should we, we be thinking about? Um, in the meantime, I'd say it's going to be a long time before it's as good at physical manipulation as us. Okay. And so a good bet would be to be a plumber. <laughs> Until the humanoid robots show up. The International Monetary Fund has expressed profound concerns that generative AI could cause massive labor disruptions and rising inequality, and has called for policies that prevent this from happening. I read that in the Business Insider. So have they given any idea of what the policies should look like? No. Yeah, that's the problem. I mean, if AI can make everything much more efficient and get rid of people for most jobs, or have a person assisted by AI doing many, many people's work, it's not obvious what to do about it. It's universal basic income? Give, so, give everybody money? Yeah, I, I, I think that's a good start. And what would you say to the average person? Not Doesn't work in the industry, somewhat concerned about the future, doesn't know if they're helpless or not. What should they be doing in their own lives? My feeling is there's not much they can do. This isn't, isn't going to be decided by... Just as climate change isn't going to be decided by people separating out the plastic bags from the um, compostables, that's not going to have much effect. It's going to be decided by whether the lobbyists for the big energy companies can be kept under control. I don't think there's much people can do to accept for try and pressure their governments to force the big companies to work on AI safety. That they can do. Do you think that outcome, that there's going to be huge job displacement, is more probable than not? Yes, I do. And what sort That of one, I think, is definitely more probable than not. If I worked in a call centre, I'd be terrified. And what's the time frame for that in terms of mass job I displacement? I think it's beginning to happen already. I read an article in The Atlantic recently that said it's already getting hard for university graduates to get jobs. And part of that may be that people are already using AI for the jobs they would have got. I spoke to the CEO of a major company that everyone will know of, lots of people use, and he said to me in DMs 
that they used to have seven, just over 7,000 employees. He said uh, by last year, they were down to, I think, 5,000. He said right now they have 3,600. And he said by the end of summer, because of AI agents, they'll be down to 3,000. So, so it's happening already? Yes. He's halved his workforce because AI agents can now handle 80% of the customer service inquiries and other things. So it's, it's happening already. Yeah. So urgent action is needed. Yep. I don't know what that urgent action is. That's a tricky one because that depends very much on the political system. And political systems are all going in the wrong direction at present. 